My name is Rick Gingebacher with the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs. And on behalf of Governor Bruce Rauner and the Director of the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs, Stephen Curta, we welcome you to the Veterans Day ceremony recognizing and honoring all veterans who defend our freedom. We'd especially like to acknowledge all of our veterans here in attendance today. We'll call them out here in just a few minutes. If you're able, please stand with me for the singing of the national anthem by Jessica Dooley. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Thank you, Jessica. As we recite the Pledge of Allegiance, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Now, please remain standing in cover for the invocation by Chaplain Kip Traeger of the Illinois Army National Guard. Captain. Good morning, would you please join me in a word of prayer? Almighty God, this morning we remember and honor our veterans and what they mean to this great nation. Lord, the cause of liberty is yours. It is likewise the cause of those who have defended it against tyranny and oppression. Remembering the veterans who have served in America's armed forces, we give you thanks. We are grateful that you inspired their sense of patriotism and strengthened them in unselfish service. Their courage and vigilance ensured the freedom and peace that we enjoy today. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, to each of them a generous portion of your grace and to America, our native land, your blessing. We pray in the name of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, amen. Thank you, Chaplain. Please be seated. I'd like to take a moment to recognize the officials that we have joining us here this morning. Ms. Jenny Narset, who's the Chief of Staff at the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs. Jenny, she'll be our keynote speaker here in a moment. Captain Kip Traeger, with the Illinois Army National Guard. I think I said Traeger, but it's Troger, right? Correct? Traeger, you got it. Traeger, I, I said it right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We also wish to welcome all commanders and auxiliary presidents that are with us today. If we have any commander or auxiliary presidents here today, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here today. Veterans Day is the official United States public holiday observed annually on November 11th that honors all military veterans. It coincides with other holidays uh, such as Armistice Day and Remembrance Day. Veterans Day is celebrated in other countries to mark the anniversary of the end of the First World War, which ended on the 11th day, the 11th hour, the 11th month, back in 1918, 
when the armistice with Germany went into effect. The United States previously observed this day as Armistice Day. The U.S. holiday was renamed Veterans Day in 1954. Now I'd like to recognize all veterans who served. If you're a veteran, please stand or wave and be recognized. Thank you. Thank you for your service and thank you for joining us today. The Senate GOP continues their annual Wall of Honor display that you can see right behind me celebrating our Illinois veterans. When you have a moment, please take a second to visit this impressive display and you will find that there are some stars here that you can write a message on and then attach it to the wall as well, a message to our veterans. So we encourage you to do that as well. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Chief of Staff of the Illinois Department of Affairs, Jenny Narset, Master Sergeant, United States Army, retired, um, excuse me, United States Air Force. I said Army, she's Air Force, yeah, a <laughs> little difference. United States Air Force retired, I apologize, Jenny. Uh, Jenny is a long, has, a, has served long and distinguished career in the United States Air Force and the Environmental Protection Agency, serving the capacity of public affairs officer. She came out of retirement to serve veterans and assume the duties of acting chief of staff for the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs. Please join me in giving her a warm welcome. All right, I gotta make sure I can scoot up here and talk just a little bit. I just wanna thank everyone for inviting me today um, this is like one of my favorite holidays of the year is Veterans Day. It's even better than Turkey Day. So I, uh, I'm just going to read a few things to you and just to show how much I appreciate to today's veterans. Uh, I would like to ask the veterans to stand one more time. You can never stand enough to get an applause. Thank you. Okay, you can sit down. All right. Fellow veterans and ladies and gentlemen, I do want to thank you for joining me today as we honor the brave men and women from all walks of life who have stepped forward to defend our nation throughout our history. Instead of waiting till the end, I would like to mention that Veterans Day is also one of my favorite holidays because not only have we served, we get served. We get served from different restaurants around the area, like Golden Corral and Applebee's, and it's, it's always fun to see how many people out there really appreciate us by rewarding us with uh, a token of their appreciation. Each year we set this day aside across the country to celebrate and to pay tribute to American veterans for our, their devotion patriotism, selfless service, and sacrifice on behalf of us all. It is our loyalty to our country and our great courage. Regardless of your military branch, you know I'm Air Force, so just think about that. Um, whether it's Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or the Coast Guard, this day belongs to all of them, everyone, and our colors don't run. We all stick together as a team and we work together. There's vast, we are a vast generation of patriots. Each patriot is part of the proud legacy and they, have not ser and they have served the honor and with dignity. They have served in different places and in different ways. They have not only for fought for our wars, but they have preserved the peace, whether in faraway lands or here at home. They have lived in uncommon lives under a common banner a love of country and service to our nation under one flag. When you look at all the wars together, there's one thing that all the veterans do. They fight under one flag, so never forget that. Our first commanding general, George Washington said, to be prepared for war is one of the most effectual means of preserving peace. We owe it to these men and women to make sure they transition from military service with the skills and the experience to find meaningful work. Here at IDVA, we take care of our veterans, and we do have some IDVA staff here. Could you raise your hand? And they put, they put veterans first. That's just the way it should be. Many Illinois 
private sector employees are stepping up to hire veterans and their spouses. I urge all of you here today to do what you can to support such efforts and to remember that veterans still have skills and the talent to offer our great nation. Veterans live by the military values of loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. Right now, all around Illinois, veterans serve as teachers, doctors, engineers, social workers, community leaders, first responders, and even elected officials. And many, 1,300, work for IDVA. Not all are veterans, but they support veterans. Whether I can speak to a room like this full of veterans or families, I am humbled. As a veteran myself, I know the price you have, you have paid to serve. I know that you have sacrificed for your friends, family, and your country, and now you are still giving to your community for, by providing for future generations. It's, always, it's called paying it forward. For nearly a century, we have celebrated this day on the anniversary, the anniversary of Armistice Day, ended in World War I, on the 11th hour, the 11th day, and the 11th month, the battlefields of Europe felt silent after more than four years of fierce and intense fighting, still under one flag, the same flag we have today. On this, vice, on this centennial of Armistice Sunday, November 11th, 2018 at 11 a.m., please join Americans everywhere to ring the bells as a solemn reminder of service and sacrifice of veterans of World War I and all veterans. Thank you for your attendance today. God bless you and God bless the United States. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. All who are able to, please rise now for the benediction by Captain Schrager. Please uncover. Allow me to offer a blessing while we are dismissed. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and grant you peace. Amen. Please be seated. I'd like to thank Jessica Dooley and the Chaplain Traeger for assisting today, as well as Chief Narset for your wonderful talk. Thank you for your message today, and most importantly, thank you for you for attending today. Please remember that our men and women are in harm's way today. If possible, donate a holiday card or brown or black socks that our service members and soldiers will receive in the holiday season. You can find more information about the Holiday Hero Drive in your program. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our Veterans Day program. Thank you for your attendance today, and happy Veterans Day. Hey, about looking at the camera, you can just look at me and talk normally. Can I just get you to say and spell your first and last name and give a title you want to use? Sure. It's Lori Yates, L-O-R-I-Y-A-T-E-S, and I'm the Director of District Planning and Member Services for the Illinois State Senate Republican staff. Okay. Um, all right. And so can you talk a little bit about the event that was going on here today and a little bit about the wall here behind us? Sure. Uh, the Illinois State Senate Republican staff, along with leader Bill Brady and the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs for the last several years, has partnered to create this wall of remembrance to honor veterans. So we ask citizens from all over the state of Illinois. So we would encourage all citizens of Illinois to go to Veterans Day at sgop.ilga.gov to submit a remembrance of their family members. Good. Anything else you want to add in there? No, nope, that's good. Okay. To submit photos and remembrances and we will put them on the Living Wall of Remembrance, which is a video that runs for two weeks here in the Capitol Rotunda. And uh, we are very fortunate to partner with Veterans Affairs and uh, the Illinois State Senate Republican staff and leader Bill Brady to honor veterans this way.
Some people are writing just a quick little description. Other people are writing kind of half their life story. So what are you, what are you sort of looking for? Sure, sure. It can be anything um, 250 words or less. It can be personal remembrances about the time they served. It can be time personal remembrances about the family member, what they love about them, what they loved about serving in the military. Really any way that anyone wants to honor a loved one living or passed away who served in the military. We ask them to do that to honor everyone and all Illinois veterans for Veterans Day. Tell us about the stars. The stars are actually what we ask people who come visit the Capitol if they want to write a thank you or remembrance to their family member or any veteran we know, we ask them to just fill one out and tape it onto the board here and this will be up in the Capitol for the next two weeks. Do you hear from people all over the state? We do. We actually uh, receive uh, thousands of remembrances from folks all over, and they're very touching, very warm, and we have a lot of people who actually travel to come see it. And we can never say thank you enough to our veterans, and certainly for any family member, there's no more honor than to know that we have a loved one who served. So it's a great way to tell your father, grandfather, grandmother, sister, brother, uh, how much you honor them for serving our military. And as well, what do you kind of want them to come away with after seeing this? I think to realize the sacrifice that our veterans have made uh, for all of the citizens of the state of Illinois and of our nation, and to take a moment to read some of the stories, they're amazing, and see the photos, and experience just a little bit about what these very brave heroes are all about. And do you think that might kind of also put a face action with them? It sure does. I mean, I think seeing the names, the faces, the stories, and just knowing about their bravery. There's a lot of stories about heroism and very brave acts uh, that folks, service members have done, uh, you know, since World War I. And so it's really interesting to hear uh, about their service and all that they've done for our country. Right. Anything